Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and this quick tutorial is for our friends over at Tube Tape. We're going to be doing a simple little map painting, and we're going to place some mountains here in the scene, and we're going to be using that awesome little compositing program called Photoshop. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and hit play. This is uh, what we're going to be going for. Okay. And uh, by the way, this is shot in Atlanta, Georgia. And if you know anything about Atlanta, Georgia, not a lot of mountains there. But uh, we're going to fix that. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's jump over to Photoshop. And one of the things you want to be aware of when you're actually doing some map painting, um, especially if you're just using Photoshop, we're not using any other video program for this, just Photoshop. Uh, you want to make sure your camera is locked down. You don't want to try to do any handheld things like that. Uh, if you're doing handheld or movement, you probably want to do a trick like this in After Effects. So let's go ahead and get started. We have our video opened up here in Photoshop, and we also have our image. This is Mount Everest, in case you were curious. So I've got my quick selection tool here. I'm using uh, Photoshop CS4, by the way. So I'm going to select most of that here, and I'm going to zoom in, Command Plus, and hold on my Option key, Alt on PC, to grab some of the extra areas that might have gotten overlooked. All right, that looks about good enough. All right, now I've got the sky selected. What I want to do is select everything but the sky. Ah, left out one little area. Hold on. Let's hold down Option. Okay. Um, so what I want to do is Command Shift and the letter I. And that's Control Shift I on PC, and that will invert our selection. So now all the mountains are selected, and we'll simply do Copy Command C, Control C on PC. Let's jump back over to our video, and we'll simply paste Command V. All right. A uh, little shortcut here. I'm going to hold down my Control key or command key actually and place the mountains about where I want them to be looks pretty good alright now the next thing I want to do I'm going to turn this layer off for a second uh, let's go to our video layer and I've got my quick selection tool um, even though this is video it's going to act about the same so I'm going to do a rough selection of that sky and let's turn, go back to our little mountain layer. And what I want to do is add a layer mask. So with this being selected, if I click on layer mask, it's going to roughly drop all that in. And it looks really, really rough at this point. Don't worry about it. It's going to get better. We're going to right click on this layer. Let's apply the layer mask. And now I'm going to simply double click and open up our layer style what I want to start doing is playing around with the underlying layer here bring this up until I start noticing this little area here I've got a lot of detail we need to bring in I don't want to go all the way up but just enough to kind of get pretty close right there and then I'm going to hold down my option key alt on PC and let that fade up a little bit all right, let go of the mouse, let go of the keyboard. And next, let's click on Color Overlay. I'm going to click here to get what color I want to sample, and I'm going to click on part of the sky. Now, if you notice, it's kind of, there's several different shades here. Let's go for about a midway. Now, it looks like they kind of disappeared, but you kind of see a little bit of the edge right there. We'll click on OK. And we'll bring our opacity down until it looks about right. That looks pretty good. All right, and so there we have our mountains dropped into that scene. And we can simply go to File, Export, Render Video when you're ready for that. But that's another tutorial. Uh, but we've got our mountain set up. And it's pretty quick and painless. We did not go outside to any video program. We just did all this inside of Photoshop. So this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea.